think it's the definition has changed for me over time. So I used to think about it being about, you know, not a particularly attractive word, like about making money, not necessarily making decisions that were the best for a community, but just kind of striving forward to be successful right. in almost like the worst, the worst version of that world. And now I really do think it is about um, a certain drive and a certain like defining your values, making change, setting out to make things happen and really like making them happen. And I think that it's it's a long term thing too. I really do think that it's something that you know, it can take a long time to achieve something. And so it takes commitment, I guess. Um, On your definition, are you ambitious? Yeah, I definitely think so. It's interesting. I was really thinking about that and thinking about, um, like, I am definitely a person who sets a goal and then achieves it you know, like, works towards it. I sometimes have, like, numerous goals <laughs> that I'm trying to achieve at the same time. Um, but, yeah, I definitely... And I think that's... It's interesting, like, my... In terms of, like, living in New Zealand and I look at my brother and I and my mum always said it was like someone had, like, lit a fire under me and it wasn't the same, like, kind of with my brother. And I don't know if that comes under the umbrella's definition, but I also think perhaps it's about not being satisfied too. I mm -hmm. sometimes do wonder about that. Like, my brother is, he's like one of those people that has no desire to leave New Zealand. Like, why would you leave New Zealand? It's the best country in the world. He can surf every day. His kids are in great school. Like, it's all good. Whereas for some reason, I, I kind of wanted to see what else was out there, you know. Um, so you feel like that's that's how you that's how you always were. I mean, that's something that just that, that's just who for you sure. are. That is just who I, I am. I mean, I think um, I've like since you kind of like posed the kind of thoughts that you had or the questions. Mm. I guess I was really thinking about like my parents, mm. and under that first definition definition of ambitious, they wouldn't fall under that. But under the definition that I have come to think of ambition as, they absolutely do. You know, like they made, they made definitely made like lifestyle mm -hmm. decisions. I think maybe a lot of people in New Zealand do that, where where your your holistic life is more more important than your job. Maybe. Right. Um, my mum was just saying like they we were talking about because my kids are you know blossoms going into high school, so we were talking about. Um, like what what was important to me in the high school and it was kind of like the conversation went on that but she was saying like they my parents are both in education were teachers but she was saying they like fell into that it mm -hmm. wasn't something that they set out to do mm -hmm. originally but they both were the most amazing teachers and they both just achieved so much once they were in it you know I think they um they both like set goals and achieve them. You know, right. they always, um, yeah. They also always did good things. Right. I think like and community orientated things. Um, they always um, like we moved when I was about eight to um, a um, very very rural part of the country where it was like a two teacher school. So my dad was a teacher taught me for like four years and in that community though they like started a library they um my dad like helped there's quite a few adults that had no couldn't read so he helped right. them like learn to read so that they could then get their license there was like a lot of kids that had like mum had kids that never like even held a crown so they just you know they just embraced this and but it was never a big deal I don't right. remember them it's making just what it they did deal. yeah just totally what they did. yeah yeah and I think that I was also thinking, I've just written a thing about um, kindness, um, and I was thinking that definitely came through my parents. Like, my dad, you would never pass someone that needed help. If someone was on the side of the road, my dad would be pulling over, changing the right. Like that, again, just, it's just what you did. It wasn't really a big deal. Right. Like, you would never pass someone by that needed help. Like, it just wasn't even in the headspace. That was definitely something I 
learn in London. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, passing someone by that clearly needed help. Yeah, you know? because there were so many. Yeah. 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 So when you think of the most ambitious person you know, what pops into your mind? This is interesting because, again, I was kind of like thinking about those two definitions. But I think the person that I ended up coming, that ended up kind of staying was my uncle, Tony, who's um, he's English, grew up in very rural, like, Devon. Um, he joined the Gurkha army when mm-hmm. he was, like, 18 and, you know, went off and did that. And he contracted polio. And um, so his whole entire life changed. He was, like, a super physical guy. Um, and his life just turned and he became incredibly academic, he's written numerous books, he just, he's just always driven, always like set out to do things, but in a way that's been, you know, he was given these great hurdles and he just kind of adjusted his course and continued in a way that is just incredible, you know. Mm. So under the definition that you gave me, is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious or are you Absolutely. A, right. <laughs> Money and time. Okay. For sure. Yeah. I mean the, the work that I'm doing now is primarily um, you know, it's like in a lot of schools that don't have a lot of money. Um, I mean some schools are getting funded. I'm working in a high school at the moment that I kind of said, look, if you can't get the money, I'll help you fundraise, but they've managed to get, like, some money funding in, um, but I'd love to have money that I could use to work with where, mm-hmm. where I just, myself, without having to jump through all those kind of, like, hoops, you know, and time, I mean, just as a parent and an artist, like, right. you're constantly juggling, and sometimes you feel like you're doing nothing well. <laughs> Yeah. And you're achieving nothing to the extent that you want to. So, yeah, it would probably help if I was a bit more, like, organized. Yeah. Too. Organizational skills, I think. Or, and also, I think, um, I think having one focus. Right. So with the money, you have to have your energy diverted to Yeah, I mean, I resource. have, you know, I, I'm an artist. And I'm also, like, um, you know, an integrative therapist. So I have these two paths, they come together, like I created this program that was called the Art of Meditation, so it's using those two things together, it's allowing, teaching kids how to be creative, using that in the context of mindfulness, but also just like really thinking outside the box, like kids are put in boxes so much now, and there's no, you know, there's a right or a wrong answer, there's no Mm -hmm. creative thought, and I don't know how you can possibly go through life without having that thinking, you know. So those things are really important, but I also know that, you know, I have all these things that I want to do. If I picked one of them and just did that, I would probably achieve more, but I find that literally impossible because Mm -hmm. they all seem equally as important to me. Yeah. Yeah.